What's up, ballers? It's Bobby Buckets back with another episode of NBA Live Mobile. In today's episode, I'm going to give you guys my predictions for this coming week and just for the general future of NBA Live Mobile. So we're going to go ahead and start out with my predictions for the week. First, I'm going to give you my predictions for the packs just based off of EA's pattern with how they do these. They're not going to stop just in the middle of the shooting guard packs and suddenly give us new packs. They're obviously not going to give us anything new until they get through the center packs. So they've been doing them for two days each. Um, I believe this is the second day for the shooting guard packs, which means tomorrow the small forward packs will start. We'll have those until Tuesday. Then Wednesday, power forward packs will start. And then Friday, the center packs will start and so hopefully by next sunday we will have some sort of new packs which would make most it would make the most sense because the nba season uh the regular season ends on the 13th which is uh wednesday and then the playoffs actually start next saturday which is going to be the 16th so that would make the most sense for them to introduce a new pack at that time, especially with the playoffs starting. So I'm pretty hopeful for that. Most people are hoping for Legends packs. I'm guessing they're going to do at least something a little bit new. Uh, maybe some sort of playoff pack where you have a chance to get a collectible for a specific playoff player. Maybe not. I'm also guessing that they're going to have some sort of new live event for the playoffs. Just because... I know you can't really introduce a whole lot of new content, but given the fact that starting the playoffs is a pretty big deal for the NBA, I would assume they would give us some sort of new event, even if it's not a big deal. I believe they have Road to the Playoffs for Madden Mobile, so possibly something like that. I haven't played that event for Madden Mobile, but I'm really hoping for something new, because uh, you can see today we just have Supremacy, and that's the same thing that we've had for the last two months. And I finished LeBron a long time ago. So, probably not going to get leagues anytime soon. I do have a semi-reliable source that says the uh, worldwide launch is going to be happening sometime between the end of June and the beginning of July. So, hopefully we'll see that coming. Um, I'm guessing they'll most likely have some new cards for the playoffs. I would imagine they're going to introduce some sort of new Kobe card uh, just because it's his last season and they're doing everything to celebrate him and whatever. Uh, so I imagine they'll probably have some sort of Kobe card to celebrate him uh, retiring. Somebody said that they have three Kobe cards right now and I'm not sure what they're talking about. Maybe they're saying uh, shooting lineup and big man lineup or whatever it is, but I've only seen one Kobe card, that being the 77. So they might do a throwback Kobe card. Um, for the spotlight events, let's see. I'm not sure who they'll have for the spotlight. Probably, um, I'm trying to think who's had a really good week. If you guys have an idea of somebody you think would be on there, somebody unusual went off for like 39 the other night. Oh, Reggie Jackson. Yeah, Reggie Jackson had 39 in the Pistons win. I think that was the same win that pushed them into the playoffs. So I'm guessing he'll get some sort of spotlight card. Not sure who else will. If you guys think you have an idea, go ahead and comment below. Uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.